Hello, my name is Bill. This is my October wrap up and November TBR. So I read The Revenger Trilogy by Alistair Reynolds. So, Revenger is 2016. Shadow Captain was it's from 2019. Bone, Bone Silence was from 2020. So I've wanted to finish reading all of that Hollister Reynolds books for a long time. But after these three, now I've got one more novel to read. And then two, if you count the one that's coming out in January. Then there's some of the short story collections I haven't read. So this trilogy involves two two girls that run away from home. So Adriana and Fura Ness. So Adriana was 18 and Fura is her younger sister that she convinces to run away and they be become bone readers on on a ship a light light sail ship so in this takes place far in the future that all the planets and the solar system have been dismantled and converted into millions of habitats and so at time this story the it's only 20,000 of the habitats are or small worlds or inhabited that and the archaeological evidence shows that this is the 13th occupation so society is risen and disappeared 13 times And uh, the gap between occupations is increasing over time. So that's part of one of the mysteries that, that they're trying to solve, the two girls, the Nest sisters. And They, so these ships go around to these abandoned worlds called baubles, which are uh, encased in a, a stasis field or some sort of shield, which goes down at regular time periods so there's they have records of when the world's going to open up and then they go there and look for treasure and leave before the 
world closes up again. So that's a major source of commerce in the solar system at this time is is going treasure hunting in these baubles and bringing back the loot to trade but there's pirates out there that take from the legitimate treasure hunters so I, I better not tell you any more of the story so that was very good read all of all of Alistair Reynolds books are very good reads especially if you like space opera with big ideas and then I started reading the Canterbury Tales this is a retelling by Peter Ackroyd so I plan on rereading Hyperion by Dan Simmons in December so uh, I wanted to to read the Canterbury Tales before then so that because Hyperion is influenced by Canterbury Tales I guess the structure of it uh, pilgrims on the pilgrimage telling their stories so I'm not quite finished but the tales basically have nothing to do with each other so it's a lot like reading a short story collection so I can take a break from it to read these three books I have picked out for November so the spy who came in from the cold so Mark at book time with Elvis created an event that he calls Dr. No Member which is to read uh, Cold Cold War um, novels and nonfiction. So spy, espionage related books. So the spy who came in from the cold is a uh, it's also a group read so several booktubers will be reading this this month and I'm starting my read all John Le Carre books in publication order but this is his third book so next month I'll get back to publication order so this was a reread as I read it but 50 years ago so people often comment that they wish they could read a book over again for the first time but the trick is to just wait long enough and reading it again is like reading it for the first time and then next I'll be reading the day of the Triffids so Gareth at books 
songs and other magic has started a reading event that he's it's calling Wyndham or Winter of Wyndham to read John Wyndham books for this winter so uh, the one I'm starting with is the day of the Triffids so I read this one in about 1974 for English class and then I've read it again maybe 10 years ago so that's two rereads and the third book will probably be a reread That is, if I read this one, I'll put up a poll, poll. So you can help choose my read for nonfiction November. So the one with the most votes so far is A Brief History of Time from the Big Bang to Black Holes by Stephen W. Hawking. So I read this a long time ago, maybe 30 years ago. So this is probably the book I'll be reading. So it's a reread. So remember December event for December is all about rereading. But I'll, I'll also be rereading for for November. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.